Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today I have a very special video for you guys. Today we are going to go over a new company with new products. They're hot, fresh off the press, and it is Druck Bar. Now, it is a company from a different country, so it is probably pronounced a different way. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. If I had to guess, it's probably something like Druck Bar. Might not even pronounce the B. It might be more like Druck Bar. Druck Bar. Druck Bar. I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced, but in America, it's probably going to just pick up the name Druck Bar. It sounds good. It sounds cool. So what they're doing is they have literally created the lightest frame in the world. There is not a frame in the world that is lighter than this frame. All of their frames are so light. They're so compact. You can squeeze probably not much in there, but guess what? It's going to be fast, and they have proven to be super, super durable. So I spoke with uh, the owner. His name is Christian. He reached out to me. He sent me these frames. I'm going to go ahead and show them to you guys today. I want you guys to see what they're all about. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know how many stores are going to be carrying them, but... If you can get your hands on one, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna play with this. These things are awesome. It is literally the lightest, strongest frame in the world. With that being said, let's go ahead and check them out. Right here, I have the Ultralight Four. This is the race frame. I also have the Ultralight Four three inch frame. I mean, you can see, man. That's that's there's not that's <laughs> there's not much in there. So here we go, we've got a six inch. They do come in a very nice package. This is something you don't really see. It looks like they took the time to wrap it by hand for you. It wasn't just pressed together in a shop and sent off. So here's the Ultralight 4. And then it appears he also sent me the Ultralight 4 five inch. We're gonna go ahead and crack one of these open. We're gonna build it today. You guys are gonna get to see what it looks like up close and personal. Uh, one other thing I wanna show you guys is uh, you can buy replacement arms and stuff for them. I don't think you'll need them. I was talking to Christian about it, and they were literally crashing these drones, these frames with the, you know, built drones. They're crashing them into boulders and buildings and blocks. I mean, and some of it was just for fun, and they were crashing, and some of it was because they were testing. And this stuff is just standing up very strong. Uh, you can get 3D printed mounts for them already. They're already available. Here is one here. And then they also have this mount here, and I believe this is if you want to put your GoPro on and then put a, um, a GoPro strap around, like maybe that ethics one they got going around. It's pretty nice. Or any GoPro strap that you'd like, you can use on it. Or use a regular battery strap. Who cares? They've got that. There's some screws stuffed inside. I don't know if you can see that. Let's go ahead and crack one of these open and see what we got. All right, pilot. So right here, what I have is I have the Copus One. People love this frame and Holy Bros doing their thing. Kudos to them. But I want to show you guys size difference. I mean, just even like just not built, just like in the bag. These are both five inch quadcopters. I mean, look at this. It's going to be something somewhat with a little bit of controversy is this frame going to fall into the five inch category or is it going to fall into the micro category i don't know i mean if it holds five inch props it's a five inch quadcopter am i wrong so i'm excited to bust it open and see um i want to build the ultralight four because i want you guys to see what that's all about there is a race version so maybe we'll build that one too but for now let's go ahead and we are going to build the ultralight 5 inch quadcopter frame by Druck Bar. So first thing you notice is it comes with a tag. It lets you know right what it is. You're not confused trying to figure out what the hell is in the bag. So let's go ahead and open this up. So they've tied that real nicely. I like that. And let's go ahead and lay out. I'm going to leave this here for reference. Let's go ahead and pull out all of our parts and let's see what we got. I'm excited to see. So here is some cards. It's got some stuff if you want to contact them or if you're having any issues. You've got a QR code if you want to link in with them and get uh, in touch with them. You can see their logo is a bear. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and set this stuff aside and let's dive right in. 
I mean, look at this. The battery strap is bigger and thicker than the arms. Look at that top plate, bottom plate, no, a mounting plate, and there's your bottom plate. Here is my side plate for my camera. I'm missing one. There we go. Oh, and let me mention that you do also get a cool sticker, a nice Druck Bar sticker. Druck Bear. Oh, maybe it's Druck Bear. Druck Bar. Druck Bear. I'm going to go with Druck Bear because of the bear. I'm going to say it's Druck Bear. I'm going to go ahead and say that this stuff does, which it might be hard to see on camera, but this stuff does, it does feel like quality carbon. I've built a lot of frames in my day. I've even done quite a few for you guys on camera. We need to talk about this. This is the arm of a 5-inch quadcopter. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm having a hard time with this. This is, look at this, this is my, my finger. My finger is way bigger than this. I can tell you right now, if you guys were unsure, you are not going to be able to put on full-size motors. You're going to end up with some 1408s or 1407. I wouldn't go much further than 18. These are not going to hold full-size motors. You're going to end up with motors that would generally be put on a micro frame. But if I'm running a Smaller battery, smaller arm, smaller frame, smaller motor, smaller everything, but my prop size is the same, and it's a 5-inch prop. Maybe it's a 5-inch quadcopter. So let's go ahead and open this up. There's all your screws. Let's go ahead and assemble. What do you guys think? Okay, pilots, go ahead and set your main plate down. Take a screw. You're going to use one of the longer ones. Put it in the second hole in, not the first hole. And then go ahead and put it against the bottom of the bottom plate, or the top of the bottom plate, main plate, camera plate, whatever plate. And then take your screwdriver and go in with it, as you can see here. So, I now have that one in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the next one, and I'm going to do that next. So now you're looking like this. Let's go ahead and do the rear. Take one more. Stick it in. Grab a longer screw. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Something to lock it in place just a little bit. Look, we're already starting to look like a quad. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put the next one in. So let's go ahead and take this one and drop it in. Alrighty. And we are now going to lock that one down. So you have all four arms on. The next step is you're going to take the next size down screw, which is this one, and you're going to go through here. Keep in mind, this is a carbon thread. It is the first of its breed, and do not over tighten it. You do not need to over tighten it. Wow. That's nice the way that goes in. And now we're up for the last screw. All right, and our last screw is in. I want to show you guys. So there's all your screws in, ready to go. You can see how nice that looks. Sharp looking. And I'm going to tell you now, guys, I know it looks thin and it doesn't look very strong. But they're strong. This thing is definitely feeling it. The very next thing we're going to do is we are going to take our camera mount and we are going to slide that on here. Ooh, that popped on very nice. And then we're going to take our other camera mount. And we're going to pop that on too. And last but not least, we're going to take our top plate. And let's go ahead and set it on. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just put one in so that way I can show you guys and I don't have to spend the time putting in those screws just to take them back out because me, I'm getting ready to put my stack in here and I'm going to fly this baby and see how it does. I mean, it's so light. It's so small. So I noticed here we've got some carbon guards. So when you mount your camera, which it appears you'll have plenty of space to put your camera in, you've got three different screws you can use. You've still got a shield if you end up hitting the front. All right, pilots, so this is going to be the number one test here because this is for the racer. I now have my scale out. I have it in grams. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And you cannot see this, but this frame built, ready to go, other than, you know, all of its components and motors and all that, just the frame, all up weight, ready to go, is 25 grams. I can't even tell that this is in my hand. I, I, I don't even feel it. I mean, what is this? This is bananas. When you're talking the lightest frame in the world, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. It's actually pretty freaking gorgeous. I'm excited to get this thing in the air. I am not going to put that video with this one because this is about the frame. If you're interested in buying this frame or want to know more about it or you like light builds or you're a racer and you just can't get around the track fast enough because you're too dang heavy, I mean, that's what this video is about. So, we're talking 25 grams all up weight, frame is built, ready to go. There are some things that showed up in this package complimentary, and I want to talk to you guys about these. Druck Bar, or Druck Bear, is the first ones to introduce this as far as my knowledge, at least over here in America, because this is a German frame directly from Germany. Uh, keep in mind, it's also M2 screws, so if you're not comfortable or unfamiliar with those or whatever, it's going to take time to get used to. What I want to show you guys is something new that they are doing, and you get these complimentary free with your frame. So once you put on your propeller, you are going to take these and you will then put this on. So I've started putting this on so you guys can see. And I would continue to lock this down if I had a propeller here. And I'm going to tell you now, it's, it's pretty tight. I know you're thinking right away, what the hell is this? This is an alternative to this heavy, heavy prop nut. Is it really that much heavier? Uh, I don't know. When you're talking the lightest frame in the world, I mean, a prop nut matters if you're going to put on these big old heavy prop nuts. So they have given you these complimentary for free. They come with every build. So when you buy this build, you will get five of these for free, as you can see here. And it's up to you guys if you want to run them or not. They're saying not to use them on very, very high thrust builds. So if you're going to build like a, you know, a six inch freaking 6S monster, they're saying use it at your own risk. But other than that, I think these are going to be the way to go if you're trying to shred weight because they are literally half the weight of the metal prop nut. Let me go ahead and throw that on the scale to confirm. Alright, so I went ahead and threw both of these on the scale. Uh, I guess my scale isn't uh, sensitive enough, so I didn't pick up either one. I don't pick up the metal nut and my scale doesn't pick up the alternative TPU nut. If you're trying to shred weight, this is going to be the way to go. All right, so we have now built the ultralight four five inch quadcopter frame by Druck Bear. There's something cool that I want to point out to you guys. I don't know if anybody's picked up on it yet, but if you see that right there, that is a paw print. I am more of a freestyle pilot, but if I was going to race, I would want the lightest frame in the world. I think it's important that you guys know my video is not going to have any affiliate links, none at all. I'm not going to have any links that are going to make me any money. This company did not pay me to review this or to do this. Yeah, they gave this to me so I can check it out and show you guys what it's all about. I enjoy making videos and I want to show you guys this cool frame. All right, pods. So here we are. We are here. I grabbed a bag of some old props I've got. And here is where we are going to find out if this is a 5-inch quad or not. And I want you guys to get in the comments and let me know. Is this a micro quad because it can only hold a micro motor or is this a 5 inch quad and I'm going to put a propeller on it which is pretty much bigger than it. We're going to put it here and as you can see this quadcopter is going to handle and spin and fly 5 inch props as if it's no problem. 
Wow, I am truly in disbelief right now. This tiny little thing, the lightest frame in the world, is going to be able to carry this freaking size prop. Look at that. It does not hit. It does not rub. I could probably get 5.1s on here. Wow, this is truly phenomenal. I am in complete shock. What something of this weight is going to do with something of this amount of force. This is going to be truly, truly fun. This is going to be a fun, fun quad. And these things are... They're taking a beating. They really, really are. You're, they're crashing them, and they're just not breaking. I mean, they look. This thing looks like one wrong movement and just snap. But I think because everything else on it is just so light, and the way everything is compiled together in a light, tight fashion, that when it hits, it's just not a lot of weight to explode. You know what I mean? Like when a five-inch heavy, weighed-down rooster or alien goes down. I mean, it's a lot of weight hitting the ground. When this thing hits, it's more like a blue and that's it so that's gonna be my factor on it that's what i'm thinking about this so i don't know i want you guys to get in the comments and let me know this is something that i'm just unsure of i know there's tons of pilots out there that have much more experience with stuff like this they're gonna be able to say whether it is whether it isn't is it you know what are you guys thinking i'm curious to find out i want to know more I want to also see this thing in the air. I want to see what it can do. Our battery strap goes right there. Now he made it pretty clear not to, uh, don't be putting no big old lipos on here. You know, you don't need a freaking 1500 milliamp hour 6S. I mean, it's just not what this is designed for. So maybe like a 650 or an 850. I'm not sure. What you know, depending on your motors, whether you're gonna run 4S, 5S, or 6S. I mean, I don't know what you guys got and what your plan is for your build, because you can build it however you want. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.